I've been looking forward to covering this one. So, Samantha Clinch. Now, you might not know who she is. If you don't, that's fine. Um, she is on TikTok. She's actually an actress. Uh, she was in the Harry Potter films. And she released this TikTok responding to a comment how much were you paid now she started off as an extra and eventually she was put into a named character role let's just watch um what she has to say Okay, so in context, okay, that does seem like a lot of money, but he is also the main character and a named artist. Extra context, we would do 12-hour days, big 12-hour days. We would be called for breakfast to be, like, in the holding area outside set for 5.30 a.m. That's perfectly normal practice. I'd be leaving at rush hour and be on the bus in, like, heavy, heavy traffic. Are you ready for how much we got paid? £35 a day. £35 a day. £35. That's £2.91 an hour. Illegal. Is that legal? That's chaos. Looking back, that is chaos. I will show you what I spent all my earnings on in this video, though, and it is iconic. So, when I'm playing the part of Eloise Midgen, honestly, little did I know that day when I was going to set how the day would change for me and my bank account. So, before, like, my friends, humble, humble extras, £35 a day, £2.91 an hour, I then got paid when I got this part. I got paid £70 a day, they doubled it, they just doubled it. I mean, really though, in the grand scheme of things, getting paid £2.91 an hour isn't that bad. And there's this constant stream of food. It's like an all-inclusive. Seriously, the amount of squares, bars and ice buns we got through. Minimum <laughs> £15 a day. Minimum. We need a whole separate video on the catering though, because honestly, the catering was so elite. Yeah, the okay. catering is good on Where's film sets. Rules? Okay, it's the weekend. I'm going to Phoenix. With my paycheck, what do I buy? What do I... Of course. Perfume. Incredible. <laughs> Nostalgia in a bottle. <laughs> Take you back. <laughs> in the corner for all Harry Potter extras. Message me. Let's get in contact. We need a meet-up. <laughs> <laughs> so she reasons with herself the £35 a day in the video isn't that bad you've also got to remember at that time i just i did a double check on her playing age uh, her playing age is 24 to 30 so uh back then um she would have been around about um 12 13 years old as she says in that video so the rates even though she says it's ridiculous bearing in mind that yes they were 12 hour days but she also had to be schooled. So that education was provided by the production company. Uh, so she wouldn't have been filming all day. And she wouldn't have been on set all day. So the £2.91 an hour, the £35 a day, probably would have been about right for an actress of her age at that time. But let's have a look. I went onto the Equity website because uh, I was very intrigued to see what the rates were now i'm going to jiggle my f jiggle this around a wee bit just so that you can see right let's go down scroll down scrolling down so we are in the area of work this is accessible to actors who are on the actors union and this gives you an idea so she would have originally started out as a walk-on now they don't have, you know, the big production country, uh, production film thingy breakdown on the walk-on thing. So they've just put it as a commercial film. Now, she was either supplied through an agency, her own agent, you know, her own individual agent, or she would have been brought in from an extras agency. I'd say, given by the fact that she went up to the role of Eloise Midgen, that she probably wasn't supplied by an extras agency. Go figure. Anyway, so the daily fee, so 
what it is now and bearing in mind this is for an adult this is not for a child the recommendation minimum fee is currently 97 pounds and back in 2004 that would have been obviously a lot lower it probably would have been about 70 but that's not including anything else on top of that because you've got things like the public holiday you get 48 pound 50 and that would be included on top of the minimum fee right and obviously over time in this case it's eight pound eight nowadays uh holiday pay yes most actors are self-employed that is true however you do there is options for holiday pay now the sp1 creative contribution we will look at now it is potential um that they didn't see Eloise Midgen as that significant of a character to be on the similar sort of pay, pay scale as the main cast. It is possible that that's the case. So they would have perhaps added the creative contribution to that, which at the moment currently works out as £30. And if you go into the key points it tells you exactly what the creative contribution actually is and that is where a supporting artist is required either individually or as a part of a small group of not more than four supporting artists to exercise their professional skills in relation to a cast member and or in close up to camera and or may be required to impersonate or and I identifiable individual and or speak a few unimportant words where the precise words are spoken do not have an effect on the overall script or outcome of the story so i would say that 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 is most likely the case and what they did was they just changed her pay packet to reflect that it's you know and that is a perfectly fair thing to do because she was eloise midgen so she wasn't significant in changing the plot line she was mainly there to be the butt of Rupert Grint's joke and be in the trailer and yes she was Eloise Midgen for x y and z of the of the films but I don't think she would have gone in because of that you know she I think she was literally just a creative contribution um extra I don't think she was any more than that even though it was a named role but let's have a look at the artist aspect. So cinema feature films, let's have a look at that. So it's obviously, it's completely different. <laughs> um, you have, and this is all depending on budget, of course, you know, you've got 156 pounds, basic salary, that's a daily thing. You've got the 624 for five days, uh, 592. Um, and that's obviously dependent on the budget and the, then if you've got a three million plus budget it is two three seven one you know those are these are just recommendations though these are just recommendations and then we have something that goes into buyout fees and and um all of that you know royalties and it goes beyond that so i think i mean she's not that so she's not sour grapes about it she really isn't she's she's actually in good jest about it i i think personally so i think that what she got was the basic walk-on fee which would have been that time for that time period and her age which was 35 pounds and then they added on the sp1 creative contribution on top of that and i think that is literally all it was but you know she was in good jest about it she bought a bottle of perfume and that perfume is iconic and you know what a better way to spend your money you know at that age what are you gonna buy well Rupert Grant buys an ice cream van she buys a bottle of perfume fair play fair play to her and I hope that she actually is successful in her career and that she continues going and uh, going on the way she does she, she looks like she's a very likeable person and I'd actually like to work with her actually. So that would be pretty cool. Anyway, so 
let me know what you think if you think anything at all if you have any opinion on it at all and uh, chat about it don't shout about it and make sure to leave a comment follow me on my youtube and my twitch and of course my rumble i have rumble yeah baby